morning everybody bet you can't guess what today is that's right today's going to be the official day we start putting seed in the ground it's planting day come along for the ride All right, now that we got the planters full, full, bull. Hey, look, garbage truck is here. Um, we're gonna fold these planters up, head out to the field. Oh, I need to grab my calibration sheet. We have to do some calibrating on the planters. It's gonna be a little monkeying around, but once we're up and going, we're going. Well, I got my GPS calibrated now. Every time you unhook this GPS globe and connect it to something else, you have to calibrate it. And it's very easy to do. You, you hit the calibration, you park where you're at, you hit calibration, and then it, it calibrates, and then you go drive in a circle and face the opposite direction, but park on the exact same tracks you were on, and then hit calibrate again, and it does its thing, and then it's done. I mean, it's, it's a very simple process to do. Um, it's just got to do it. Now I'm going to drive back to the backfield as I'm going to start seeding there and seed my way out. But I'm going to drive back to the backfield and then I got to calibrate the planters to make sure I'm dropping the correct population down. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of seed and that can get expensive fast. So we'll do that. That gets all done over the right here on the monitor and through this thing here, this monitor here. So, we'll get that done and then we'll start planting and we'll go from there. Officially got seed going in the ground now. Knock on wood, everything seems to be running smoothly. about that you guys got extremely dirty and dusty sitting out there so I'm in the process of cleaning you guys off right now because you're all you're filthy I forgot to show you guys what I found in the last field that's a uh, that's a point off of one of our rippers from 
who knows how long ago. And the spring, I have no clue where the spring came from. But, oh well, glad I found it before it went in the tire, because that wouldn't have been good. You know, since I've started this whole YouTube thing, um, I can't listen to the radio in the cab of the tractor as I'm going because YouTube will hit you with copyright laws and all that crap. So I think that's the biggest adjustment I've made doing all this because I'll shut the radio off, talk to you guys, let you know what's going on, blah, blah, blah. And then I'll shut the camera off and I'll just keep going and then about an hour later, I'm like, man, it's awfully quiet in here. Like, oh yeah, radio's off. And usually, I got that radio blaring. Like, it's loud. But, oh well. Looks like the fertilizer guy finally caught up with me. He's coming into the field right over there. He can really move across the field. I think he's stirring up more dust than I am. company that comes out and uh, custom spreads fertilizer for us it makes it nice it relieves a relieves a little stress or things for us to do in the field so we already have enough things to do so just paying them to come in and spread fertilizer makes it a whole lot faster for us I'm back to working ground now I ran out of work ground to plant I got 82 acres planted today. I'm going to work this up tonight. Probably 24 acres here and then tomorrow I'll, uh, I need to spray in the morning and then I'll go back to work on more ground. Bust open as much as I can and get what we can get planted. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate you.